بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹ ہاؤ آر یو آر ہوپ آل آف یو آر ڈوئنگ ویل ٹوڈے آئی کم اپ ود نیو لیکچر وچ از اباؤٹ دا میشرنگ انسٹرومنٹس اینڈ مور پرٹیکولرلی ان دس لیکچر وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دا میٹر رول اینڈ دا میشرنگ ٹی اینڈ دیس ٹو انسٹرومنٹس آر یوزڈ for the measurement of the length. Before going to start our lecture, I would like to share a quotation with you. If you believe in yourself, anything is possible. Measuring instruments are used to measure various physical quantities such as length. In ancient time, people used footstep, handspan, rope, armed length for the measurement of the length while the modern instruments include the ruler measuring tape vernier caliper or the screw gauge for the measurement of the mass we can use any type of balance such as the physical balance beam balance lever balance or the electronic balance For the measurement of time, sand clock, sundial, simple clock, stopwatch, water clock and other time measuring devices can be used. For the temperature, we can use the thermometer and for the measurement of the volume, we can use either the graduated cylinder, beaker or a flask. In the past, measuring instruments were not so reliable and accurate as we use today. For example, the sundial, the water clock and the other time measuring devices used around 1300 AD were quite crude. On the other hand, the digital clocks, watches used nowadays are highly reliable and accurate. Now we will describe some of the measuring instruments which we used in the physics laboratory for the measurement of the length. Starting with the meter rule. A meter rule is a length measuring instrument as shown in the figure. It is commonly used in the laboratories to measure length of an object or distance between two points. It is of the 1 meter length which equals to 100 cm. In 1 meter there are 100 cm. While each cm is further divided in 10 small divisions which is called millimeter thus 1 millimeter is the smallest reading that can be taken using a meter rule and this smallest reading is named as the least count of the meter rule one point which we must have to consider before going to take any reading is the position of our eye While measuring length or distance I must be kept vertically above the reading point as shown in the figure the reading becomes doubtful if the eye is positioned either towards the left or towards the right to the reading point so for the accurate measurement of the length or the distance our eye must have to be kept just vertically above the reading point 
Now we will discuss the second type of the length measuring instrument which is the measuring tape. Measuring tapes are used to measure the length in terms of the meters and in terms of the centimeter. A measuring tape consists of a thin and long strip of cotton, metal or plastic which is generally of 10 meters, 20 meters, 50 meters or even 100 meters long. Measuring tapes are marked in centimeters as well as in inches. The smallest reading which we can measure with the help of the measuring tape is also equal to 1 millimeter or we can say that 0 0.1 centimeter. A steel tape measures is suitable for the measuring straight distances which are longer than a meter while a cotton tape measure is suitable for measuring the length along the curved surface such as the person's waist and for the measurement of the objects whose length is less than a meter for that measurement we can use a meter rule that's all for today i hope you get a lecture thank you so much if you have any kind of queries you can write your questions in the comment section given below see you in the next lecture till then take care and allah hafiz